Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and I got a review for you today. From Dynamite Comics, we're going to be talking about Gargoyles, issue number two. It is written by Greg Wiseman, uh, art by George uh, Cambotis, uh, and he does the colors, letters by Jeff Eckelbury, and then this is the B cover by Amanda Connor. Um, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. It's all for free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, you know, those like, comments, subscriptions, hitting the bell, all that's for free. Um, if you're so inclined to hear more of my reviews, hit that bell and you never know when I'm dropping new reviews. Uh, so here we go, Gargoyles, issue number two. It does take place directly after where the first issue left off. The Gargoyles are asleep. This issue is kind of told by Angela. Um, she's having dreams of the past of her mother and how they ended up here. Um, it's kind of just a couple panels of her mom and then kind of like her and her current love. And then we see that the gar night has come and the gargoyles are waking up in a badass fashion. Um, at this point, the book kind of... Um, we had two things going on, but two different births were about to happen. Uh, we still have like a supposedly a year and a half before one birth happens. Uh, but that is the egg that between Brooklyn and Katana, which we see here. We get to know more about the rookery and how they protect it. And we see that Brooklyn and this character that I'm not familiar with, but Foo Beast, um, basically protect Brooklyn and Katana's at egg. Currently have it named um, like Egg Wardo. And Katana actually thinks that is the baby's real name, uh, which they find out later on. It's kind of a... A joke that Brooklyn has you know just because it's an egg um, and he's more along the lines of well, we don't even know if it's a boy or a girl kind of thing so for now it's just Eduardo um, but like I mentioned that, that we have two different kind of main plots going on um, but we do have them with the egg and then we have um, another group that is about to have a baby so basically our main clan of gargoyles kind of separate and these four end up going to check on the baby that's about to be born uh, between Maggie and I can't remember the dad's name he looks like a panther they end up getting to the you know to the location where there's they're supposed to be and we see like one of the most confusing things ever there's no explanation but all these people are asleep they 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 think that because all these are clones you see that they're like there's the panther guy but we see like other animals and stuff like that but they um there is no explanation but the our gargoyle set kind of question is this how they wake up you know when night comes for them kind of thing um the book jumps over and it's basically a, a this setup between um i guess a major bad guy he's been locked up recently um it is um they call him um, Dee Dee at first, but it is Dominique Dracon. Um, and he is being released from a hospital. He has been recently um, deemed to have like Alzheimer's, like he's having uh, mental issues, but it's not really the case. He's faking, you know, to cover up his criminal kingpin kind of thing. But his daughter is getting him from the hospital. Uh, once they get in the car, you know, we, we see that it's all fake and everything but they mentioned something about Dino being releasing um, happens to be like um, Antoinette the daughter and Tony's uh, uncle I guess it's it's Dracon's brother but they had word about him getting out of jail and what he's gonna do um, if we jump back over to this scene right here and we see all the clones are now awake maybe the gargoyles woke him up uh, but they're kinda rejoicing at the moment kind of meeting all the gargoyles and stuff like that and then all of a sudden we get the scene right here and like I said a lot of this is confusing and they don't really explain a lot but this this is kind of what what led up to them being knocked out um, it, it, all of a sudden a gas just appeared uh, we see that the human is knocked out with uh, and I'm sorry I don't remember her name um, bad with names but uh, she, she is like clubbed and knocked out but the rest of the people are are take are just knocked out with the sleeping gas but we see that Maggie is taken and now that they are all awake and everything um, her husband the panther dude is kinda of pissed off that, that Maggie is gone she was the one that was pregnant with the baby um, and there's kind of like you know base, a basic talk of acquisition you know acquisition you know they're trying to figure out who who did it I can't speak right now um, 
we got over to Antoinette and Tony, and they were talking about the release of uh, Tony's dad. Uh, looks like Tony himself is locked up, um, and he's asking if the old man still has any normal thought, and she's like, yeah, that's all for the press. Um, and we cut over to who really has Maggie, and we see this, like, doctor, nun, nurse lady, and she, she has Maggie, and we see Maggie right here. And we see the bad guy that's got, you know, and he kind of mentioned this at the end of the last episode. I don't know why it's focusing. I'm sorry. Um, but there's not a whole lot that goes on. We, we do meet the doctor um, that cre has created, like, the clones or something like that. His name is Dr. Anton Servius. He is right here in the back. Um, in the back. Um, but that's kind of all that goes on besides the fact that Maggie wakes up here. Uh, we do see um, the panther, the clones, and the gargoyles on a warpath, um, and they end up at this guy's place. And if you give me a second, I'll give you a name. His name is Derek. I'm so bad with this. I don't remember any of these characters. I remember some of them. I remember Derek is supposed to be a bad guy, but I think at this time he is modeled as like half half like uh but then it's Derek down there I do remember him I think he's the first bad guy they ran into um but supposedly the uh oh Derek Xanthos uh but he's supposed to be um I don't know but that's who the panther guy um you know assumes has Maggie we know that he does not at the bottom here we get a little bit from from Angela and we also get a little bit of the next uh, issue because this is where this one leaves off um, but basically it says in the next issue tension tensions are rising with the Manhattan clan some gargoyles believe that Xantos is responsible for the recent kidnappings while other consider him an ally but all uh, that we'll have to wait because someone has initiated the Great Minds Protocol. We don't know what that is. That that hasn't even been mentioned or anything. Um, there's some dope stuff about the designs and current, you know, on how they came up with this. And, you know, it's talking to uh, Greg Wiseman and the artist. Um, there is a, a, you know, an ad for the Darkwing Duck facsimile that's coming out. I think it's either this week or next week. There's all the cover pinups, um, that was cover A, and there goes cover B, and there's some dope covers. Um, and then, of course, a preview for the Gargoyles facsimile, if you missed out on that, I think that dropped last week. Um, my final thoughts on this book, I don't know if I'm going to continue with it. I love the nostalgia, I do love this cartoon. I'm drawing such a blank, and at the moment I have not gone back and watched it. I know it's on Disney+, Plus. I actually own, I think the third and fourth season currently missing the first and second but it's not really I'm, I'm drawing a blank at the main characters and stuff like that I am with the clones I don't really remember them a whole lot maybe like the panther guy and that's about it maybe he was a bad guy at first I mean it's been like 20 years I don't know they're just like and they're and the way the book picks off is like man you should have watched this right before you you read this book kind of thing um that I'd say is my first complaint. The art, the story, everything so far that what I can tell from the story it seems fantastic. The art is beyond fantastic. It it fits the the cartoon just like I remember it without even having to look at the cartoon. If not, probably you know crisper because it's modern kind of thing. But <clears throat> I will say that there were a couple panels that were just like, what the heck is going on? And, you know, and I kept reading, like, this panel right here specifically. I mean, there is no explanation. The gargoyles get there. There's real, very little dialogue in the explanation on here besides them showing up and being like, oh, you know, and that, that's kind of it. Um, even with the explanation on right here, because they, they don't really know what, what went on, but it's just a whole bunch of smoke appeared. You know that the girl got knocked out and that's kind of it we do know that it's the bad guy that did it you know the the gargoyle looking bad guy they showed us at the end of the first issue i'm drawing a blank at his name you know help me out in the comments below um but hey guys y'all let me know if you are a huge fan and you do remember the show and you are reading it 
how does it feel for you? You know, are they just lobbing all this information at once without filling it in? There is something that I would like to point out that this one does have a summary, you know, on the cartoon. It kind of, you know, a little summary to catch you up on, you know, hey, this is what the gargoyles are. And the first one did a really good recap of who everybody was and, and the names and everything. Um, so please let me down below if you're a huge fan and you remember the cartoon like, like crisp. How is this comic book doing? How is it holding up? Uh, you know, um, but as far on my end, I mean, the art, the story, everything, it, it's there. It's just I need, really need to go back and watch the cartoon kind of thing. Um, but hey, that's my review. Please comment, comment, comment. Hit that like button. Please hit that like button. It doesn't cost anything. Um, but that is my review. This is probably my, you know, last one for I don't know when this is going to drop. Either tonight or tomorrow. It is uh, Monday. Yeah, evening um, but I will let y'all go I hope you'll have a great afternoon or whenever you're all watching this um, peace out all right bye